Hey, yo! Wah! Beer review time. Um, <laughs> I recorded one already this morning, uh, and then I wanted to do something different today. So if you hear a review tomorrow that says, hey, it's Saturday, that's why. Um, oh. Off the top, I wanted to shout out a uh, good friend of the show, Ryan, Randy, Big Balls, Bedford. Happy birthday, buddy. Uh, I wish we could <laughs> meet up for a beer at 12, but still in lockdown. Ha! Also, I think I, I did some shoutouts the other day, and it was the only video that I didn't list the shoutouts for some reason. Uh, I just want to say, since we're talking about Randy, thank you again to Ryan, as well as to Chris Dundon and uh, James Jimmy Hunt Jalokia. Uh, if, if you didn't see the live uh, review, it went a little long. Uh, and thanks to everyone who showed up, but it was my guys, uh, Ryan, Chris, and, and James, who really stuck it out for the majority of the four-hour, 40-minute beer review. <laughs> I'm not encouraging you to go watch, but it was wild. All right. Let's get a beer. Oh, yeah. And let's get a glass. Today's the day. Oh, okay. Need a little bit of maintenance there. Most doing well. Okay, all right. Can't have a little bit of schmutz on the top. Schmutz. Good Yiddish word. Who was I talking to? Who was speaking Yiddish? Schmutz. Really excited been sitting on this one for a while. We've been sticking mostly with local craft beers for a while now. Wanted to change that up and just give uh, a little taste for all the new fans, for everyone who's new to the YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to do the Staro Promen. Established in Prague since 1869. Eighteen sixty nine. <laughs> brewed with passion using the finest ingredients including premium Czech hops uh, I've mentioned before in the reviews my buddy Martin Rehack uh, we uh, we lived together for a little while back in Toronto Etobicoke <laughs> that's on Faber Street uh, Martin's Czech and his father uh, one of my favorite people in the whole world uh, George Rehack, also Czech. Uh, so we, we didn't have a lot of money at the time, but the one thing that uh, George always did for us whenever he came to visit was to stock up the fridge with nice Czech beers. So the, the Budvar Budweiser, which we reviewed already, uh, and the Staropramen were the two most uh, prominent beers, the, the two most prominent, most stocked. They're the ones we drank the most. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. 5.0% ABV. This is that real Czech Pilsner. Uh, I hope it stands up well. Because I remember it being really good. Uh, for the glass today, we've got Beyond the Pale Brewing. Outside of 
not outside of, hailing from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Shout out to my boy Andrew Austin. Uh, last time I was home, which was like four years ago, um, went and stayed with my parents for a while. I went down to the, the LCBO, the Liquor Control Board of Ontario, which is where you have to buy your alcohol in Ontario. There's the LCBO and the beer store. They're both run by the government. The beer store's full of beer. LCBO has all the spirits and the wines and beer as well. When I moved away from Canada like 10 years ago, there was a healthy craft beer selection, but not huge by any stretch. I went back, and it was massive. There was the whole back wall. There was this huge walk-in cooler. It's where they kept all the craft beers. And the whole back wall was just Ontario. Ontario craft beers. So I was like a kid in a candy store. I was just walking around, looking at it, and I, I, didn't know, I didn't know anything. Back when I moved, it was Mill Street, and there was Duggins. Shout out to Duggan. Mike? Mike Duggan? Anyway. Um, so yeah, picked up a bunch of beers, started trying them all, and I noticed the the best beers all came from two different breweries, and that was Beyond the Pale and uh, Collective Arts. Hamilton, I think? Um, shout out to... Dan Johnson ended up kind of getting introduced to a guy online through this, uh, there was this like global collab we did, uh, it's all, it's all hazy, it's all, it was during lockdown, it was to support, uh, local F&B establishments, all the proceeds went to whichever, it was, uh, some New York brewery that started this initiative. Fuck, I'm blanking. Anyway, let's, let's get to the review. Star of Ramen. Oh, the reason I mentioned Andrew was on my way out of Canada. My flight's out of Ottawa. Went back a little early, so me and Andrew and Aaron could uh, spend some time, go to some breweries, some breweries, we went, to, we, I think we drank at Andrew's house, and then we went to Beyond the Pill, <laughs> I'm not sure if we had any other breweries, um, but yeah, great time, nice carbonation, nice clean glass, one sip, everybody knows the rules, Staro Promen, that real Czech Pilsner, Found this on a shelf at Anam Gourmet Market, and I'm excited. Once if everybody knows the rules, so it's mm. it's almost as good as I remember it being. It's got a little extra flavor on the top. Probably due to storage conditions. I mean, it's still within date, but who knows how long this was sitting there. Or how long it traveled. Or what conditions. It's not quite as good as I wanted it to be. It's just, it's lost some of the, the crispness that makes these Czech Pilsners so good. There's like a cleanness and a crispness to them when they're fresh. That's fucking awesome. Ah, uh, fuck. It's not quite there. Mm. This will be, we'll put this on the list to be re-reviewed at a later date. Probably not in Vietnam. Maybe in the Czech Republic. 
Got a dream, man. Oh. Like my man, in the immortal words of Dizzy Rascal, you gotta have a dream. If you don't have a dream, how you gonna have a dream come true? I used to love music. Dizzy. Fuck, that's another one from uh, from the house on Paper Street. Fuck. Ah. So this beer uh, is a 7.8. It's, it's mid to high 8s for sure if it's fresh. Pretty sure. Unless my memory is just so far off that I'm a crazy person. Ha, oh, went a little long, but a lot of shout outs today. Want to say hi to a lot of people. Look for tomorrow's review where I say that it's Saturday when it's not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> happy weekend. Hope everyone's doing well. Oh, and uh, congratulations to Cody and Rebecca. Uh, just had their wedding last night. Uh, tried to zoom in for the reception, but uh, it was it was like a weird like there was some weird David Lynch stuff going on. That the video was like them sitting at the at the reception table with their whole family, but then like they would flash on screen, like they were in front of the camera, like trying to make it work, but then they'd flash out, and it just like kept flashing back and forth. <laughs> Couldn't really hear much, uh, but, you know, an internet reception. <laughs> Technical difficulties abound. Uh, that's all. Star O'Promen, put it on the list. I'll get my intern to put it on the list for beers to revisit down the road. Uh, 7.8, we said. Disappointing, but, again, the, the beer doesn't taste as fresh and as good as I know I know it can be stay frosty people that's a review